also Mary Court, the St. James's Palace detachment of the King's Guard, alongside the band of the Coldstream Guards. And on the balcony there, the trumpeters, the state trumpeters of the household cavalry. The Garter King of Arms is accompanied by the Earl Marshal and other officers of arms. And the Sergeant at Arms will make the first and principal proclamation. David Vines White, the Garter King of Arms, who will shortly speak. And the crowd's there, their arms aloft with the camera phones waiting to catch this moment. Robert Hardman is with me again. It will be a very simple moment, but it is a highly significant one. Very significant. What we are witnessing here is royal communications at circa 1400, um, and some things don't change. It has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lord's spiritual and temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III. By the grace of God, of the United Kingdom, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022.
three cheers for His Majesty the King!